Hi, my name is Jesse Degler, and I will be answering Joseph Stanton's question about legalizing marijuana in the United States. I do believe that the marijuana will be legal in all 50 states, not necessarily in the next year, maybe the next five years. But I believe that because if you look at history and the prohibition, you'll see that alcohol was once illegal and people were still using it. So FDR was smart enough to go ahead and legalize it and tax it and put certain restrictions on it. I think that that is what will happen in the next five years, as you can see with Washington and, and Colorado. And once we do that, do once we do legalize it, you're wondering where the government funding for battling marijuana will go. And I just think that it's all one big fund for all drugs. So it'll be for marijuana, crack, cocaine, and other methamphetamines. So hopefully that fund will continue to battle those other drugs. If it is a singular fund, I would hope that it would go towards research for marijuana's medicinal purposes and there would be more trials and more tests and more studies. But um, you also talk about the how legalizing marijuana has changed Washington and Colorado. And I just, it hit home for me. This is really why I wanted to answer your question is because my mom lives in Washington right now. She just moved there. And she talks to me about how she sees people smoking marijuana red on the street. And it doesn't bother her. She doesn't see it as a problem. She thinks it's a natural substance and people use it wisely. But uh, not all people feel that way. And I actually have a really good friend who's from Colorado and she basically is irritated by marijuana being legalized. And I have a really great recording of her talking about the way that she feels about marijuana. So here's Claire. I personally hate that marijuana was legalized in Colorado because I feel like I can't go anywhere without smelling pot or people using pot. And I can't even go on a hike without finding people high in the woods somewhere. I can't do anything without someone being high doing something. It's just really irritating. And this is part two of Claire. You know, a lot of my friends used to smoke pot before it became legal, but ever since it did become legal, it seems like my friends who never even thought about it started smoking it at just because it, because it became legal. And it just really sucks because, you know, if I don't smoke pot, like, I'm not going to want to be around that. And it just seems like since it's okay to do it now, everyone's going to do it. And you've, you've lost, like, friends because of this? Yes. All right, so when you listen closely about what she says in the second part, you hear how she talks about people who didn't smoke pot before it was legalized are now smoking pot now. And I actually have the website for the White House up, and they have a message saying that, and I'm going to quote the website, it says, confusing messages being presented by popular culture and media proponents of medical marijuana and political campaigns to legalize all marijuana use perpetuate the false notion that marijuana is harmless. This significantly diminishes efforts to keep our young people drug-free and hampers the struggle of those re from recovering addiction. So as you can tell, the White House is not beaming and excited about legalizing marijuana because they feel like it's just going to be more people smoking pot and there's going to be more problems. Well, obviously, when you first legalize it, like the prohibition, when they first legalized it, I'm sure people went out and bought as much alcohol as they could. But And marijuana will probably be the same way, but there are a lot of people nowadays who don't drink at all that are completely straight edge, and I think in the near future you will see more people like that. But you asked for some recent studies about Washington and Colorado and there were aren't there aren't nearly any but there are some studies about marijuana as medicine and there is a chemical in marijuana uh, called the called CBD 
and it treats certain conditions such as child epilepsy, glaucoma, other cancers, and violent seizures that um, scientists are actually breeding marijuana plants and making CBD oil just for treatment purposes and they find that they're not intoxicating and so I feel that eventually the sensationalism that comes with smoking marijuana will die out just like how it did with alcohol and it will be a good thing for our country as far as um, when you think about the economy it, it will be good for our country.